it sometimes helps to look at dlr sets as individual puzzles right so you just have a puzzle and you have certain uh, information and certain clues that you have been given and then you have four questions or six questions right so depending on the information that has already been given and certain clues you need to solve the questions right so the moment you start thinking about it and i am and i'm sure few of you might be you know into sudoku puzzles akuro puzzles so this puzzle solving mentality really helps right so i suggest stop looking at dlr from a set point of view and start looking at it from a puzzle point of view so whenever the dlr session starts so that moment onwards you have four or six uh, puzzles in front of you that you need to solve the second is that you need to figure out smart ways of solving the set if a set is taking a lot of time for you to solve then you're probably going in the wrong direction the examiners or whoever sets the paper they have created the set in such a way that it is definitely solvable right and in that fixed amount of time so and there is no step marking of course so it's always best to go through the questions first whenever you read a set don't start solving immediately right so that is what my third point is uh, the like i i've seen a lot of people do that and myself even i have been in that phase when uh, as soon as i used to get the information i started using uh, making a table or whatever it is but sometimes what happens is the most important clue or the most important point is at the end so whatever uh, work you have done previously all uh you know goes to win because you might have to rework everything again and a lot of times going through the options help i was able to solve the most difficult uh, set or the puzzle in a cat 2021 because i went through the options so there was a six question set and one of the options really gave it away right so i actually backtracked from the options and recreated the entire set so that set ideally would have taken me anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes to solve but on that day i was able to solve it under 7 to 8 minutes only because i went through the options and you know i sort of found a jugad to you know solve the entire set so whenever you approach a dlr section whenever uh, uh, be it you know you're solving individual sets or uh, solving sectionals try to find unconventional ways of solving you know that is where you know your street smartness comes into picture don't go by the conventional way that you want to write every step go through the options and understand what the question is trying to ask the fourth point is create your own personalized strategy people might go through each and every set or they might first read the entire section and then pick set right so uh, i have seen people for whom the first one works for me personally uh, the second one works where i go through the entire dlr section and then pick and select sets uh, that i want to solve so especially in dlr section if you see the raw score would be very less for a 99 percentile that means you don't need to, to maximize your attempts right so even a small number of questions if you get it right you will get a really good percentile in my previous attempt right so in my last year's uh, attempt that is cat 2020 i got a 78 percentile so that was because i was attempting uh, the questions in order and sometimes what happens is and the orders are mixed up within the same slot uh, as well so you might get the most difficult set you know uh, at the very beginning and if you're solving it and if you're uh, someone who falls in that sunk cost fallacy you might end up in that trap and you you won't get uh, get past that uh, you know barrier so for me personally uh, what worked is uh, going through all of the sets reading what the set is trying to reading what the puzzle is trying to ask go through the options and then decide what questions that i want to solve now for some people dlr might be the strength they might want to maximize their attempts for them i have seen that historically even in mocks they would attempt 100% of the paper for them the uh, former strategy would work as you know they would start attempting the sets in order but i think it's up to you and you need to practice uh, which uh, strategy works for you and you need to try out both right so you might think that the first one is working better but the second might the second one might be even better so you need to give a few sectionals and mocks with the same strategy to actually you know the entire flow sink in and uh, coming to the resources part i think the past mocks right so you might have certain drive links uh, online on telegram groups and you know you might find them here and there so those past mock questions are i think in my opinion the best you know resources to practice any set because those sets are a notch higher than what cat gives and i think it's a perfect resource to practice
because i think all of the other resources would be on the similar level to cat or even you know below in cat you might not get conventional sets you might get uh, lr based di or you know even a mixture of different sets so these solving from past mocks gives you that flavor of you know that pressure and uh, and of course like you will have last 2 to 3 years of each uh, provider so that is easily around 400 to 500 sets right so apart from this so i used to solve it online using a pdf and i used to keep a timer on my watch or on my mobile and i used to solve it as a sectional and the other resource that i referred to is anastasi shankar's youtube channel so he also solves uh, and picks sets from previous mocks but i think his approach is what i really like so he has a playlist of around 200 uh, tests i solved all the 200 sets so uh, i used to work and my work timings were somewhat like like 1 to 10 pm so i had the morning half free right so the morning half like a couple of hours 1 to 2 hours i used to solve like 2 to 4 sets every day so that was my daily routine for dila so the past mocks and shankar sir's youtube channel these two are the resources that i followed and the last is of course trust the process uh, sometimes you might take you know considerably a huge amount of time to crack a set sometimes you might you know you might get the logic within a few minutes itself but the important thing is to trust what you're doing right and continue what you're doing if you're doing uh, you know these past mocks you should continue doing them the preparation for dilr especially you need to build the entire flow in your muscle memory right so for dilr it is nothing but slogging the more and more number of sets you solve the better you will get at dilr that is the only mantra for dilr mm-hmm.